Hey everyone, this is Haas. As you might be able to hear the thunder, it's about to storm, so I gotta try to get this part of the video done really quick. We have decided to move the, the baby chicks out into the coop, and I'm gonna show you what I did in the coop so they're still separated, they're not gonna get picked on, and they'll still be able to be warm. So this is gonna give them a lot more space than what they have in the tub inside. They are, they're growing like crazy, and I, I really think they're starting out to grow that tub. So all I did, I took some hard, extra hardware cloth we had, I cut it to where it would sit down inside. I zip tied it to where they are not gonna be able to squeeze their way through and the bigger chickens aren't gonna pick on them. And they have gotten bigger. Don't know, there you go, look at that. They've definitely gotten bigger. The rooster, he's cool. He, he usually comes to me when I call. Um, the hen, she's pretty skittish. So maybe I, I've just kind of been getting in, sitting on a cinder block and just kind of chilling in there so maybe that will that will help so this is where we're going to move the the chicks the well summer have a lot of feathers on them the barred rocks are are starting to get their feathers and they're getting much bigger so i'll still um get a heat lamp out here to put on them at at, at night but during the day it's hot enough out here we don't have to worry about it and also i did put some rain blockage and this is just temporary that's why i kind of have it jerry rigged but just to block the rain on two sides that way they can stay dry because i know with that down um it's not good and, and chickens aren't good to get wet anyway but what i figured is if i have hardware cloth up here and the bigger chickens can see and maybe even interact a little bit with the smaller uh, chicks that when it's time to move them out into the coop there won't be as much of an issue because they'll already kind of have an established pecking order and they'll be used to seeing them running around so now that i showed you all that let's go get the chicks and put them out here all right guys it's a new day that storm was just coming in so it's now time to move the chickens from in the house here out to their new home in the coop and let's get started on that All right, everyone, so we have the chickens in here. They didn't cause as much of a fuss as I thought they were going to. The big chickens are very interested. They don't know what to think. I figured doing it this way, they will kind of already know each other. As weird as that sounds to many, I'm sure. So when I take this part out, it'll be seamless. I do foresee a problem with, I can't see, with this guy wanting to show dominance over the big chickens. So we are going to put the heat lamp in here at night until somebody tells me different. And I'll have the food and water in here in just a second. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know why they're all kind of congregating in that one corner like that but I think they're enjoying just pecking at the ground because they've been in pine shavings. Anyway, that's our new 
that's our new holding spot for the chicks. And um, hopefully they're going to continue growing because they've grown a lot over the past almost two weeks now. One well summer, he's almost feather, fully feathered out. And then everybody else is lagging a little behind here and there. So we'll finish getting this all set up, get their food and water out here. And I think they're going to like it. They have a lot more room here than they did in the tub. So um, I'm excited to get them out here. Y'all be self-sufficient. Help everyone you can and convenience no one. And you have a good day. If you have any advice for this, maybe do something different, whatever, just let me know in the comments. And I'll be sure to jump on that. So thank you, everybody. Bye.